Hello everyone, welcome to our reading. So guys, the next reading is a little bit special. I want to draw, because I don't have a topic yet. I want to get a topic for the reading. I want to draw one of these cards. And I want to draw these dice. Okay, so we're going to see what topic comes in mind. What can we ask? I already pre-shuffled the piles. So it's very interesting. You know, we have pre-shuffled piles. And now we're doing the question after that. Okay, so that's very, very interesting. <laughs> so let's see if that works. So let's roll the dice for the question the universe wants us to ask today. Okay, this is chance, luck, and this is expansion, the wheel of fortune. One more card to that. Can I have one more card about what the reading, what is the question of today's reading? What is the question of today's reading universe? Okay, I see this card. Let's just take one card and see if it works. Tomorrow you will be unstoppable. Oh, we have chances and the wheel of fortune. Um, okay, this is for me the change, the lucky change. What lucky changes have happened for, or what lucky changes come in next for you? This is crazy. This is the reading. So let's, let me get the cards. Let me get the cards for you guys. So guys, here are the four piles. What lucky changes are coming next for you? So we have pile one and it has the token love and beloved. Pile two, believe in love. Pile three, live your dream. And pile four, live love love okay so make your choice everyone and then i see you at the piles please um yeah if you like what i'm doing here please subscribe and i hope you all find healing here and i see you bye so we're starting with pile one um it says love and beloved so first i want to put down the cards and we're going to see what changes are coming for you pile <clears throat> what lucky changes no coming for you next. We have the hour class. Time is of the essence. And winds of change. This is crazy. And I feel here with the love and beloved. I feel this is in love. We have your surroundings will undergo transition. And I feel it's about time. And you probably have felt this. Yeah, I see here with this you have felt the winds of change already so let's look at your tarot cards we have seven of cups we have the king of adamus which is the king of swords interesting and we have the six of cups beautiful yes i feel um in love I feel in love um, there will be new opportunities coming in um, with the seven of cups you will have um, yeah multiple possibilities to date I think and I think before you were shutting down your feelings yeah I feel you waited for a message maybe um, to closure if I put it like this um, cl have closure from someone yeah with the time of, of the essence, you were waiting for this letter. There's a letter coming in here. I don't know if you have received this letter already, but I think you will receive this letter in the upcoming weeks, months. Let's say what it says, seven weeks. Yeah, I feel you will receive a letter that you have long been waiting for, um, maybe from an ex or maybe to get closure in a connection that you were waiting on and once you find closure and you see this guy holding 
the knife here. You cut whoever this is who sends you the letter, you know. You were waiting on this letter because you didn't have closure. It's This is not someone like in the soul connection where you are waiting um, to receive news. Well, it could be. It could be that there is an opportunity coming in. Yes, because the Six of Cups also speaks about soul bonds. Yeah, it could be. But then you don't put it too, too close. Then you... Um, you gain new exciting possibilities to go on your journey yeah, with this soulmate of yours, even if you are not united in 3D. But I'm strongly feeling here that you were waiting on closure from a past lover, past person. And once this closure is coming in, there's also new opportunities coming in. And I see dating here. I see dating. I see, um, yeah, a, f a familiar... Um, a familiar feeling coming back that you had lost a long time ago. Um, with the King of Swords, you know, the King of Swords is hiding their feelings. The King of Swords is not letting anyone in. We see this here. It's like almost this king is sitting in prison. And once this closure comes with this letter or there's this information that coming in, once you close it down, yeah, there's this wind of change coming in. And new pu beautiful possibilities. We have older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman. That could mean that one of you is older. Maybe you are older than your masculine or, you know, the guy you're waiting on. We have feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. See, and I'm seeing this um, with a feather. It's usually a messenger. So I'm feeling this is a message coming in from someone that left you or ghosted you or someone that you actually you were waiting for a closure you were waiting for finding closure because but you don't want this person to come back into to your life and i see we see here in need of help assistance and guidance and i feel this message is coming in because you were waiting for guidance and then a great passion is arising so very beautiful. So what lucky changes are coming in for you? Um, you have been waiting for closure for a situation in your past that did not or that prevented you from finding love. Okay, whatever this is, this could be several meanings, but there's closure coming and you can put this to rest. And once you put this situation to rest, you were waiting on this for some time because we have the hourglass here. Once you put that to rest, it says love and be loved. Once you put this to rest, a real person, like, you know, a lover, a soulmate, maybe someone from your past is coming and bringing you a lot of joy, a lot of, um, yeah, like this, this very fine feeling of being in love again. That's exactly what I'm seeing, guys. Okay. So that's the um, change that happened for part one. I hope you like this. And it really worked. Yeah, it really worked. <laughs> so, okay, let's move on. Bye, guys. Hello, part two. Welcome to your reading. What lucky changes are coming in for you guys? So we have belief, belief in love. So there's something about the journey here where you are doubting. You're doubting a lot, okay? So let's see. So you might be on a soul journey, but you are on a journey where you are doubting a lot on the path. Let's see what lucky changes are coming for you. We have the serpent. A sly and subtle approach is needed. And then, oh, we have love, true love and fidelity. Wow. Yeah. I feel here this, you know, <clears throat> the serpent for me is, is like a winding path, you know. This is, um, that's why you're doubting it. This whole journey that you're on could be a soul journey, could be a twin flame journey, but you are on a journey in love with someone, okay? Strong soul connection. I'm already feeling it when I open a pile. So it's not always in my readings, but a lot, yeah? This always depends on, you know, how you read for the universe and what journey you are on. That's how you're reading, you know. And um, I have a lot of people that tune in because of a soul journey with my channel. 
So I'm seeing here that this path is windy. Yeah, and that's why it has been hard. That's why you did not like this very much. And you um, consulted a lot of tarot readers. Maybe you also read tarot for yourself yeah, in order to know which path do I need to go. Maybe you are very clairvoyant. You can see things or you know it's a spiritual journey. You know this is your wish fulfillment. Yeah. This card also suspects very strong soul connection. Yes. And then we have the lovers. So yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This is true love of a lifetime. You have met in many lifetimes. And one of your abilities, Pile 2, is probably being able to see the future, being able to sense, being able to be psychic. Yeah, you are probably a psychic. And we have the King of Pentacles. This is your counterpart. So we have a psychic and your counterpart. And it's interesting that it's exactly being put on the <laughs> right side of this card. We have someone here, um, you know, living far away from you. I see here two different countries, you know, one where it's warm at the time when it's cold in your country. So this is very interesting. Um, you guys live far apart. And your person is very much, I mean, he's the king of pentacles. So he's very career oriented. Oriented. This could be a person that is, um, you know, very 3D, very much in 3D, has a very high career, has a lot of wealth I'm seeing here. And that's why they're not really concentrated on this path. But I'm seeing here that both of you are already in this journey. Even if your person is very much 3D um, focused, yeah, because they're very much in this world of career, making money, being a leader to someone. And we know that if you are a twin flame, which is just the lover's card, um, then you both have a job to do. You both have a journey to go. And the King of Pentacles tells me that your person is creating something that a lot of people need, yeah? Your person is creating and you're there in your home base, you know, you're probably not dating, you're probably waiting for this person and you're with the help of the universe with which you communicate, yeah? You're communicating with the universe, you're trying to see the path. That's exactly what happens and I'm seeing here that there might be some wish fulfillment coming in this journey. So we're going to look into what else we have. We have a bird waiting for news, package and letter. Exactly. That's what you're doing. You're waiting for news to come your way. And we have a nest. An emotional secure family is important to you. <clears throat> I feel both of you are in your nests right now. I mean, we still have Corona everywhere, but I see here that both of you are not with each other, but you both are the nest also to each other, the home to each other. And it's interesting that the bird comes out with the nest. So you're waiting on information from that person. I mean, that's very clear. Yeah. And I feel that person, that information is coming in. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Yeah. You gain a lot of wisdom in this journey. Yeah. With the elephant also tells me you have to go according to the rules because the elephant you know, walks according to the rules. I don't know why that is, but that's one symbolism of the elephant. And so you cannot um, speed up this journey. And we have the parrot. This is crazy. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. So, um, yeah, I feel a lot of people are not okay with that journey. I feel a lot of people from the outside and we see a lot of birds here. Yeah. So when I see a lot of birds, there's a lot of people people um, talking about this journey of yours and a lot of people knowing about this journey of yours. So it could be that you are a reader, people know you or you have talked to some friends about it and they are talking behind your back. But I'm seeing a lot of oppositions to this journey because of the King of Pentacles, you know, because this person is very much um, in the public eye, I'm feeling here. Yeah, but I'm seeing there is news coming because we have the wish fulfillment card and you knew that. You knew that all along. Um, 
because we're talking about what what changes what lucky changes are coming for you and i'm feeling here that there is news coming to you and it could be that these news yeah that you know maybe the news is about both of you feeling this journey both of you um are in this journey maybe you get to know how your person is feeling something like that but other people see the news too so they get jealous there's a lot of jealousy involved in this journey from other people now because we have the lady and the lord and the lord is um, depicted as the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles is a person in the public eye this person is seen this is all true love but there are a lot of people working against the disconnection but what i'm seeing here what lucky changes are coming in next is a message that maybe you see how they feel maybe they open up to you but it's a sly approach it's nothing what you see if you are if you don't know about this journey okay so this is only visible to you and to these parents to these people that are you know standing in your way basically okay but there will be a message coming in pile too yeah very beautiful that's all what i'm having guys bye hello pile um three your token says live your dream so let's see what lucky changes are coming for you pile three let's see we have the ooh, the chimera imagination clouds your judgment okay live your dream so you're imagining a dream you have a dream the siren a temptation may lead you astray okay there's something um here with the siren and the chimera hmm i'm feeling that this is a dream maybe other people would tell you it's an illusion because i mean with the siren it's a song that pulls you in it's something that you really want from the bottom of your heart and you're following the song of the siren and the song of the siren is this pull this pull that you have towards your dreams but sometimes you think that imagination clouds your judgment that everything what you're dreaming of is not achievable okay so that's basically the situation so we're gonna look now yeah we have the ace of cups okay so this dream could be about love a temptation it could be a love to someone a crush yeah a crush that's pulling you in and your dream is to be with them I'm just saying it's as blunt as it is because this is what is here. It could also be that you are really in love with the dream. That maybe it's about creating. We have the holy, the holy king, which is the hermit. Yeah, you're, you're feeling, you see this old guy here standing um, in the winter. You know, your dream has not come true yet. You're in search of this dream. You're in search of the Holy Grail. That's why it says the Holy King. Um, the, this is your Holy Grail. You're in search of this. And the siren is pulling you in. But sometimes, you know, you have to go this or you have to walk this road alone. That's what I'm feeling. There are not many people believing in what you're saying. Um, I'm feeling a lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, what you're dreaming of, that's not achievable, that's not possible. And we have the Page of Wands. You know, that's the manifestation. The Page of Wands is really um, going on an adventure, you know, following this path, going on this adventure, even if you don't know if you could reach it. Because the Page of Wands, you know, he is very immature and um, very inexperienced and he just follows his siren song. And that's why many people probably say, well, this is imagination. This is clouding your judgment. This is the situation that I see here. What is coming in? I'm feeling here that with the page of wands, there is a clue coming. Yeah, um, it's like you're you're doing some magic, and you're um, there is a spark. There is a spark being lit where you go on this journey again. Yeah, I'm feeling here that maybe other people try to stop you on that path. 
Okay, maybe you were um, in doubt of this journey of yours to whatever this is. This could be even be a job that you really want. And you felt the song of the siren, but you tried to withstand the siren because other people were telling you this is just, just an imagination because, you know, the siren is usually not a good car. The siren is a pull towards something that's clouding your judgment. But with all these beautiful cards here and the hermit, I'm feeling you're in search of that dream. Yeah, you're in search and something what's happening here, what, what lucky change is coming is something is lighting your spark again on the street to go on the journey again, you know, to let yourself be led by the siren again. We have grown new home, new attitude. So it could be that you, um, you know, you, the spark is, you know, going on an adventure and we also see the home here, the new home. Look how similar this is. Maybe you're moving to somewhere and this new surrounding, this new, um, yeah, this new surrounding of yours, this new home gives you a lot of love and a lot of spark again to follow your dreams. Yeah, maybe also this siren, please apply it as it fits. Maybe the siren is something bad for you. And it was something that people tried to pull you away from this, from living your dream. Yeah, but now there is a new surrounding, a new environment where you will go. And that gives you also a new attitude. This could be a new job. This could be a new home. We have the ball here. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. And that's exactly what I see here. I see here a lot of people trying to tell you that this dream is nothing achievable. And you, universe is saying you stand up because you find this strength again. You find this spark again, part three. Yes, and we have happiness coming in. Look at this. And that's exactly with this Ace of Cups what I'm feeling. You finding this life again and you just swim with the stream. You just let yourself be led by the siren. That's it. Pineapple. Reconciliation with your dream. Yes. I mean, the pineapple is sweet and the happiness is here. And the pineapple is, um, you know, a very sweet fruit, almost like the siren pulling you in again on this journey to find your dream so what happy changes pile three are coming for you i feel here you will change something in your surrounding there's something that you clean the energies with a broom there's some new environment where you come in which sparks this journey again okay and you again say i don't care about all these people trying to pull me away from this path I'm just following my dream. I'm just doing it. I'm just living my dream. I'm just following this. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. So very beautiful, very beautiful. Don't let yourself be pulled away from something that you really love. Okay, part three. So that's all what I'm having. It really worked. Bye. Hello, part four. Welcome to your reading. So we have live, laugh, love here. So let's see, guys. Um, what happy changes, what lucky changes are coming into your life? So we have the wolf. We were of who you trust. Okay. And the catuscoys, you will receive, I don't know how to say that. Catuchaos, I think. <laughs> you will receive news from afar. So this is interesting. There's healing. Healing news coming in. And with a wolf, I feel here a person that is not wanting you to see this new, this healing news. Because we have live, laugh and love. It's all about letting go. It's not taking everything so serious. And there is a person here with a wolf that is trying everything to make you see everything very, or that you take everything serious. But with that is stealing you the happiness. Okay, so let's see what's this. Yeah, the tower. Wow. There's something going down here with this wolf personality. Let's see what else we have. We have the three of cups. So this is in a friend situation. Okay. Okay, I see here that you will receive news from afar that are very healing. Yeah, they come suddenly. 
there these news will come suddenly and they're very healing but in your friend group there's someone that wants not that you have fun or that you are happy or you know they want that you take everything serious if we look at the wolf this could be a person that's an introvert you know that's like the lone wolf trying to swim in a group but rather going their own path and the fourth chalice is look at this yeah that's what they want look there's the news coming and this person wants that you look like this that you are not happy that you don't want that you don't accept the news that you don't feel these news so whatever news are coming in um they come suddenly first of all they bring happiness okay but this person here tells you to not take these news seriously okay so whatever news this could be it makes you happy okay receiving this news makes you happy and um what lucky changes are coming in is these news okay there is a message coming from afar maybe in love okay and you will be very happy you're celebrating this but you need to be aware of this person that you know they want to bring you down basically they don't want that you enjoy these news okay so we have the bell announcement exactly guys there's a happy message coming to you that's very healing for you and yes indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly yeah this person kind of wants to stop your happiness you know i'm seeing this person whoever this wolf is um you should not trust them you know the universe is telling me be happy and celebrate these news that are coming in um they could come in april okay so we're talking about april or this person could be born in april it could be a, um an aries okay and we have a wishes granted so you were wishing for these news guys you were wishing for this so what is coming in your wish fulfillment in form of news from far away and you were like live love laugh love you're very happy it brings a lot of happiness with you and i feel that you will receive these news in april but there will be someone in your friend circle that you know tells you keep it down you don't know if this is real um you have no idea just keep it down you know just um don't take everything as existing or don't take everything you know it's like they want to play you down and the universe is saying don't be fooled by this wolf okay so celebrate the incoming wish celebrate the incoming message because it's coming by surprise well you know now <laughs> and it might come in april guys okay so very beautiful so celebrate this and be happy celebrate this with your friends yeah it might come from a lover from afar okay because i see here someone holding their cup so this is a wish that you have maybe from a crush maybe you expected a message from a crush this news will be very healing for you yeah but there will be one person in your surrounding that wa constantly wants to downplay you okay and the universe is saying don't listen to them so how beautiful was that reading i hope you like this and i'm saying goodbye guys bye bye